hey guys welcome back to my channel on this video i'm going to talk about the difference between the use ref and the use state so let's begin so i'm here my project is running on a local host uh, 3000 and this is my project called uh, toolset and here the react tools and this is a uh, the the template which is coming from when i create a react application using a cli and this is the template here so what i'm going to do first thing is i'm going to delete everything and i'm going to write it here test and it's going to just print it me a test which is okay so now here i'm going to uh, create a use state first so use state use state okay why okay okay i need to pick the bottom one because i want this i don't want i don't want to type so now what the my state is going to be is my this is my food state so one of the difference between the use state and ref is a uh, use state will re-render it uh, jxs and uh, and the uh, ref doesn't re-render the jxs as you know uh, but if you don't know then i can show you here so If I put test and uh, not test, but if I put the, you know what, I'm not going to put anything here. It's going to be empty and I'm going to create one button here, button called set food. And whenever this button is click, then I'm going to trigger one event. Basically that event is triggering the uh, food here. All right. So basically, when I click this button, it gives me a burger, which is okay. This is how the React works, and and we always need to uh, use the use state when we're changing or manipulating a data in our views, or we are also sending any data in our child component. Then we should always use a set use state here, and this is working. This is perfectly fine. So now let's use the uh, use ref. So there is a in the use ref which is on this component here. So on this use ref, the initial value I'm gonna give is nothing, empty, and just give a ref. And in a ref also, we could use something called current, right? You ref that, oh, I haven't imported a ref, that's why it doesn't show me. I, I need to import ref here. So ref.current, and I'm gonna send the current to burger as well here. And when you set it to current burger, then I'm gonna save the, I'm gonna put it here, ref.current. So now what happened is if I click it here, the burger burger is printing twice. The first is this guy and second is ref. So it shows that the it shows that the ref is also re-rendering. But that's not the case because we are setting the uh, the state with the set, set food. That's why it's re-render it. And if it's re-rendering re-rendering the JXX with the set food, it does re-rendering with this guy as well which is called ref current but if i disable this guy and if i comment this one as well right i'll remove it okay if i could remove this if i set this one now the set foot doesn't even work because this guy doesn't even re-render it right this guy doesn't even re-render at this time so whenever uh, we are changing the data something only the use state will re-render it not the ref Ref doesn't re-render it at all. So what, where we can use a ref is whenever we are using some kinds of like class, like this function variable, kind of like kind of like a function variables, and you're getting some data from uh, APIs, and you want to store for temporary, and after you store the temporary data in a uh, ref that current, then you can put the data in a use state to, to change in JXS to re-render it. So that's the biggest difference, guys, using the uh, use ref and use state. I'm going to make the another video that how we can use our uh, use ref for an important uh, uh, part of a React where we can get a native element in another videos. So thank you very much for watching this video. Bye for now.